The leaves are changing, the sweaters are coming out of the back of the closet, and we're starting to cook soup and chili. That's right, fall is in the air. And while I love pretty leaves and comfort food just as much as the next girl, I'm not overly fond of the cold that follows. I guess your birds and I have that in common. Today, let's talk about preparing your coop for the cold winter. Hi, I'm Alyssa from Southland Organics, where we find natural solutions to natural problems, like keeping your birds healthy and happy in every season. With cold weather approaching, it's time to start thinking about winter prep in your coop. Getting your coop ready for the cold is pretty simple, but it can mean the world to your feathered friends. First and foremost, it's important to know that birds going out of lay during the fall and winter months is completely natural. Birds are what we call long day breeders, meaning that they prefer to breed in the spring and summer when the days are longer. This is an evolutionary mechanism that developed to ensure that chicks were not hatched into the winter cold. Now, some birds go against this concept, but as a general rule, birds tend to lay less in the winter. So if you do notice a decline in production, don't jump to any conclusions or think that you've done anything wrong. This is just nature taking its course. Cold stress and seasonal illness can also cause your birds to begin to lay less. And there are actions you can take to prevent that. Here are five things you can do to help your birds through the winter. Number one, minimize wind chill. This means reducing the amount of cold air moving through your coop. For us, that means hanging curtains or blankets over the chicken wire portions of our coop walls. This reduces the amount of cold air able to move through the coop and encourages heat retention inside. But remember, if you choose to completely seal the space, be sure to pay additional attention to ammonia buildup. Number two, consider adding a heat source. For us in Georgia, it may not be cold enough for a heater or lamps until December or even January, but it's a good thing to think about in advance. In temperatures less than 45 degrees, I recommend providing some heat source inside of the coop. For me, I like to add a focal heat source, like a heat lamp, rather than heating the entire space. This allows the birds the option to choose. It also shows you if more heat is even necessary. If you check your flock and all the birds are huddled together under the heat lamp, this can indicate a need for additional heat. If they're all spread out and none are under the lamp, maybe it's too warm. Remember, if you're hatching your own chicks, they have to be under constant heat for the first couple of months of life, especially if the ambient temperature is already low. These birds have little to no ability to warm themselves and will not do well without controlled temperature assistance. Number three, remember your bedding. In the winter, thicker bedding in your coop can provide a great warm place for your birds to rest. It's important to keep this bedding dry and clean since it's expected that the birds will be spending more time indoors than you may be accustomed to. Number four, be on the lookout for pests of all varieties. In the winter, a warm chicken coop with plenty of poop and chicken feed sounds like heaven to common coop pests. Insects, mice, possums, you name it. It's important during this season to pay special attention to these guys since they can still carry disease. Also included this is wild bird species, especially in areas where winter viral diseases have been prevalent. Number five, this one is probably the most simple, but most overlooked. Always make sure your birds have water. In the winter, this means not only ensuring that the waters are filled, but also making sure that in freezing weather, there's still unfrozen water available. So there you have it, the basics to getting your flock through the winter happy and healthy. Keep them warm, keep their house clean, and make sure they have access to drinking water. I hope that this video has helped make a daunting time of the year a little easier to face. If you have any questions on winter coop care or our products, feel free to comment on this video or contact us at success at southlandorganics.com or call us at 800-608-3755. Keep up with us on social media at Southland Organics. Thanks for watching.